Hello everyone, this is Mom Reda and I hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're going to discuss about Searle's classification of elocutionary acts. As response to Austin's Speech Act theory, in 1976, John Searle, a professor in the University of California, classified the elocutionary acts. Do you still remember what are elocutionary acts in our previous video? You're right! Elocutionary acts refer to the intended meaning of the utterance or the expected action to be performed by the receiver. Here are Searle's classification of elocutionary acts. Assertive An elocutionary act which pertains to the realities of the world. The speaker commonly expresses his belief of what is true in a proposition. Assertives may be in the form of statements, explanations, suggestions, swearing, and conclusions. For example, Mask helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. Wear your mask correctly. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Directive An elocutionary act which signals the receiver to do a certain action. This may be in the form of commands, requests, orders, and invites. For example, Please wash your hands in the hand washing area. Commissives An elocutionary act wherein it allows the speaker to make a certain promise or commitment. Commissives may be in the form of vows, pledges, and promises. For example, Mara, it's already late. You need to sleep now. Nanai, I swear, just one more episode and I will go to sleep. Expressive, an elocutionary act which presents the speaker's present emotion and actual feelings. This is best expressed when saying, greetings, apologies, thanksgivings, and many others. For example, To my nanay and tatay, my words will never be enough to quantify your unconditional love and support. Thank you, and I love you. Created using Powtoon.